Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology, and we have Anuradha Ji with us again. And today we are going to discuss, in short, about how to use nakshatras practically on our everyday, day-to-day -day life. All right. So, welcome to Exotic Astrology, Madam, and please enlighten us. Nice to have you again after long. Thank you so much, Bhavaji. Uh, it's been a pleasure to be here after so many days again. And uh, today I'm going to tell you how we can use these uh, powers and the associates of these nakshatras in our day-to-day -day life. It so happens that, you know, uh, these nakshatras have a lot many parameters. Every day, um, in fact, of all the five elements of the panchang, be it the vara, the karana, the tithi, the yoga, and the nakshatra, the nakshatra is the one which has the maximum number of parameters. That is through which you can uh, you can actually assess the power of these nakshatras. So um, now I will just show you what these powers are. Okay. So uh, these powers, say supposing the many many powers, but in general I'll just take up uh, a few of these powers. That is, one is the Shakti of the Nakshatra. This every Nakshatra has certain powers, certain very definite powers associated with it. Like for Ashwini Nakshatra, the power is Shidra Yapini Shakti. That is, something which is moving, has the ability to move at a very great speed, okay, and quick aid and energization. So uh, whenever there is a transit of either moon or a planet uh, on this nakshatra, this is highly activated. This power is released through those planets. And that is the time if we can understand, uh, we can, uh, you know, work uh, towards doing something related to that nakshatra or moon. Or uh, in our everyday life, you can just, you know, stand there, ask this nakshatra for a favor uh, that you please grant us the uh, power to be hurried. Now, you see, just for practical example, Mars had recently crossed um, this nakshatra of Ashwini. So you must have seen everybody being very energetic and a lot of things happening in your life at very fast speed. You must be moving in a hurry buddy every time. So Uranus is also there in Ashwini from long yeah. time and it will be there till long time. Yeah, so you will see many things in your life will start evolving, working in a very, uh, you know, you will, uh, whenever you want an aid for Uranus related objects, you can simply pray to Uranus and the Snakshatra to help you there. Now the, uh, the second element is definitely the deity. The deity is the Ashwini Kumaras. The Ashwini Kumaras, they're, very, they, they're said to have a horse head, okay? And uh, so uh, these Kumaras, they are uh, they're very quick, they're said to be celestial doctors. And they're very quick in doing whatever they're doing. They're very playful. They're always uh, on the move. So from personal experience, I can tell you, that on the day moon is on this nakshatra uh, or if I am in need of any help or if I need uh, to make sure that I am, you know, uh, I am not feeling well and that I need some aid in terms of medical aid or, you know, get my health and physique back. I always on that day remember the Ashwini Kumaras and I tell them that I need to get this work done or I need to make sure that my health is back to normal. And trust me, uh, it's not just me that I have given this remedy to. I have given this remedy to a number of people. I have told them that it will work and it has worked like nobody's business. And then you have the symbol of a horse head. So the horse's head is a very uh, sensitive area for a horse you know it's a very sensitive area and it's it's a very effective area because the horse uh, the senses are very alert 
and the mane of a horse a horse the more the beautiful mane the male horse right so the more the beautiful the head uh, the hair the more is his power it seems you know it's they they groom the hair very much for the horse so you can see it's a very potent animal animal it has it, it has a great sense of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, horse as such has a great sense of freedom virility the male horse or the stud is said to be a uh, stallion is said to be very very powerful an animal and to curb it will take a lot of energy to domesticate it to tame it takes a lot of energy okay and uh, so people having a key planet in there to domesticate them but once they domesticated they become very very faithful they are said to recognize their masters after ages so this is something that the ener this nakshatra this is the energy that this nakshatra definitely has and it is uh, the the head is supposed to be a very controlling part and so these people then he becomes the leader of his gang so to say so he does have the ability to become the leader and you see swift swiftness is the quality of this nakshatra okay so this what does that swiftness mean uh, we will anywhere anywhere that this nakshatra wants to move it can do it in a, a very very short period of time so when on this particular day when moon is transiting or as you said the uranus is now in uh, um, this nakshatra or when mars was transiting i was observing that there was a lot of thing that was getting done and done very quickly mars itself is a planet of you know taking quick actions top of all it's there in this nakshatra so it puts in gives in a huge impetus to be able to do your work uh, you know in all swiftness the gana is devata so dev gan in this nakshatra uh, means that you are a very calm and a fortitude a very um, very soft kind of a person okay a very softness uh, moves into your uh, life and um, as as i say this there is also a color color associated with every nakshatra and the color of this nakshatra ashwini is blood red we can say that that it is blood red in color so anything that you can use if you can use how would you use this color you would use because it uh, when you are associating yourself with this color on that particular day when moon or any planet is or when you want to get work done you correlate it with the weekday also and then you know this provides us that vibrancy you are vibrating on that same uh, color you can just also you can also have carry it as a piece of cloth which you put it next to your skin so you will also be resonating on that level so it helps you raise the flow of positive energy in this in your system okay so uh, now when i am moving on to the dev gun you can see that somebody who has a dev gun that person will be able to harness it in um, in a way that it will be more peaceful there will be more sense uh, selfless service then these people will have an ability not to harm others to do good to others so this shakti of shri prudani or uh, you know this uh, how to use the deity and now the uh, now supposing somebody we definitely the good times and bad times in life so if you are going through a bad time and you want to harness this positive energy like of the shakti that is shidra yapani so that you can move into a good zone very quickly you can ask the ashwini kumars for your aid and you can also sit in meditation this is the first time we are introducing it we can use the essential oil do the mudra while in meditation because <clears throat> when you are using the essential oil uh, what does every oil okay has a certain feature that it carries and this is an association uh, with this i have got it from my friend uh, anna atmeneva uh, who is 
an ar aromatherapist okay aromatherapist she does a lot of all these things she runs her own classes she's a well known russian uh, who works uh, who has a publishing house and she translates lots of books from india uh, from english into uh, russian languages as a publisher and a distributor so and she's also an aromatherapist so what she has actually uh, taught is that what is the use of each oil here and she's got this from the mudras and the meditation from very uh, you know old books that she had on astrology and nakshatras with her so she just says that if you combine the forest pine uh, which is an antidepressant and it frees one from addictions when you are using it in combination from uh, with myrtle and bergamot oils this is new i have not heard it before <laughs> yes so this is something new that we are introducing here because uh, she has been working as an aromatherapist uh, aromatherapist for quite an age and uh, one more question i wanted to ask where could we find these oils like in general some you find it, specific you find it on the web you will find it on amazon and everywhere there these oh. essential oils are available okay you also have oil dispensers you know so you you, you can to inhale and they uh, we these dispensers work that way okay so they uh, what they also give you is physical strength and relief from exhaustion and excessive excitement also it also definitely you know the uh, it's one of the major features of ashwini nakshatra is that the ashwini kumars are a very um, what can i say a very exciting bunch <laughs> yeah they're very charismatic they're extremely charismatic yeah and they're uh, sarcastic also funny very <laughs> funny very funny and wherever even uh, wherever they go you know they lend a charm and this essential oil increases your charisma this increases your charm so we have the mukula mudra okay now what does the mukula mudra do it it aids uh, organ support and relaxation it has a sharp a sharp focus uh, for healing energy and it's you know what uh, this wherever you need the healing this when you're doing the mukula mudra it will put it will rush that energy in that area where healing is required it's a it's very very effective tool what you and you know you have to it's given also here we put in how you can uh, make that mukula mudra and how do you utilize it in your everyday life i would suggest doing it with the meditation now for every nakshatra there is a different kind of meditation and why do you do that is also important because on this day if you are doing a certain meditation the effect will be different as to what you do it in bharani or kritika or rohini or whichever so this in all is about uh this nakshatra now in the beginning i have this calendar uh, so this is actually the product you know this is actually the product with each page each page will define its own set of nakshatras and it will give us on the reverse a small description but as i said you know a small description sometimes you need to know more what how we can use it practically so with that we have a booklet coming up and the booklet gives a wealth of information not only on these nine points and these direction direction of each nakshatra uh, the the element of this nakshatra the color associated with this nakshatra and the house or the sign in which the nakshatra is posited not only that but it comes with the trees that you can plant the name the sound that each nakshatra is associated with so many other um, parameters it comes with and a detailed description of how to use it okay and then in the beginning i do have uh, we have it's in uh, it's in collaboration with anna atmini i'm proud to uh, you know associate with her 
it's in collaboration with anna atmeneva and we have a release not just in india for internationally but it's also specifically we have also made it for the russian language wow so we also have a russian calendar with a russian booklet for those and how many uh, pages uh, could you just uh, say like you said there's this the calendar and then there's another booklet so what's like the total size so this is the calendar as i can show you i showed you the product here so this is the calendar with its uh, different pages and uh, with its uh, you know different color coding system and everything uh, okay so this is the shravan how have you uh, how did you arrange the color scheme you know like this is of course for aries smith these nakshatras so like not for the aries not for the aries as i told you every nakshatra has its own color right so early in the morning you don't it's it's very much there's a lot of thought process which has gone behind this nakshatra uh, bhava ji okay. so the color is silver and a gray somewhere between silver and gray bit for uh, dhanishta nakshatra so we give you the option we we give it to you in the booklet that what is the color but you are not going to look into the booklet every day right every time is not possible for you to look into the booklet so how do yeah. i associate it with this <clears throat> silver gray what do i associate it with when i look into the calendar every day in the morning i know that if the color is silver gray so i can keep a gray piece of uh, cloth or when i'm starting i pick up a gray pen uh or you know these small things very very small things that we do will help us harness this energy but then uh, every day it's not possible for me or for you to remember the color that it's gray yeah. but if i see it early in the morning placed uh anywhere in my house or if i see it uh, because it's an appealing thing so i can place it even as on my desktop or anywhere and then and i have been doing it for 4 years now before i started to uh, before i thought of moving out uh, and presenting it for the world i've been doing it for 4 years now very nice it is so for shravana it's i know that the color is blue uh, and it has around it has because it's uh, 27 nakshatras we are on 27 nakshatras so uh, we have uh, you know 27 of the nakshatra pages with one 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 side of the page being uh, the pictures the, a template with pictures and the other side is all about the written point which you would not want to open a book to read all the time okay so you can have a good description of it on the back the booklet will have 48 to 50 page uh, pages of written note and it it's a detailed version of how you can utilize it so if the direction for today is east and you have somebody uh, coming up uh, from east for you for your work and or you have, somebody has the 10th lord visited in this nakshatra you would know that the east is the one that will give you uh, you know more revenues more work okay interesting <laughs> so a lot of things and today like you know if the deities as the ashtavasus so you know the the ashtavasus uh, are the mrigasira uh, soma and then agni all the all of them are the part of ashtavasus <coughs> they give their color to uh, the uh, uh, to to the dhanishta nakshatra and dhanishta what does it mean uh, so these these things we can actually enhance it into our lives we can invite them into our lives and you know what is the shakti of dhanishta the shakti of dhanishta is khyapayatri shakti so um so if i tell you khyapayatri shakti would you be able to make anything out of it you would say okay it's the shakti but yes if i read on the outside on the other side i know that it is the, it is the power to give fame and uh, abundance and bring in resources and people together to generate wealth so i know that this is what is working today so i make an attempt to utilize this energy today to uh, you know try to connect people so that i can do something in a wealth generative fashion it is very lucky 
for people okay and uh, but except for marriage so i also know that i if this dhanishtra nakshatra is operating uh, it's best not to have a marriage day on this day okay so the symbol is uh, the drums and you can read everything like i said for ashwini nakshatra you can do everything it is a movable sign uh, nakshatra so you know that it is the re it is uh, also one of those uh, areas wherein you can get things done you can get things moving or you could do uh, you could buy a car which would be nice you could do things which will promote movement in life so i have been doing this i have been doing it for the past 4 years i've been seeing how these energies work in my life and it doesn't take much time bhava ji hardly a minute to change one page know which is the nakshatra operating and just uh, just having a glimpse at it for those who don't believe it's fine but uh, believe you know that you need to hold your hands i also hold my hands and say thank you so it's like what what how many points are there like from power dt symbol animal yeah so here we have seven points for, for okay? every every nakshatra there is only in one page right yeah this is seven points here this is just seven okay. points here but in the nakshatra booklet in the nakshatra booklet which is an extension of this there are uh, around uh, how many points would that you asked um so we have around uh, you know we have 12 points okay uh 12 or 13 po 14 points we have 14 pi points which are in excess of the uh, what already mentioned here and uh, essential oil mudras um everything out here everything gunas direction color trees uh, operating nakshatra chara stira and everything and then syllable of each nakshatra what is the name that you can keep uh, deities symbol of uh, nakshatras everything in detail with these as you can see and then we also have a list and even and even if you are not feeling well because i have been doing it for so long so uh, now i do have it i do have it in my everyday uh, you know day to day routine that i know okay today is shravana nakshatra so what i need to do is connect with people and today is the day of connection uh, today is the day of contemplation you have to think before you say something that is the way it operates it starts moving into your life like that. and as you asked me it is like this one this book is uh, booklet is 56 pages and this uh, this booklet is also around 48 pages and this is because of two pages each of uh, par nakshatra and then I, we have a shloka from atharva veda here which is related to all the nakshatras and uh, we pray to to the deity agni you know uh, uh, to bring us why why agni because then atharva veda this him says that you pray to agni and asking that may kritika and rohini bring us good and happy opportunities why to agni because agni is the carrier whatever we offer to the agni it transports it to the other side so we are asking him to be a messenger for us and may these nakshatras which dwell in the heavenly uh, you know uh, skies in their very beautiful forms in the striking forms indestructible energy may they do all this good to us may they bring us this welfare may punarvasu bring us the power of speech and they are good fruits for us no me somebody wants to get get a hold of them physically in their hands so how could they do yeah, that yeah that's it that, this is this is as i said uh this is for uh, you know this is for purchase this is open for purchase on my website www.anuradhasharda.com people can also contact people who want it in the russian language can they can also contact anna atmeneva uh, she 
has it at R O U A N N A Rau Anna at hotmail dot com. They can contact her for it. It is available. It will take fifteen days for delivery. Okay, okay, fantastic. <laughs> I think this is a very unique way because you know, generally when we have calendars and that concept, it is you know just see the day. It's today is January first, January second. But now this is like. Yeah, the day is very much imbibed with the nature, <laughs> right? So the day is very much yes. there within us every day, and it's there on our mobile phones. There, it's there on our watches and everywhere. But this is this is more on a spiritual and more on a um, uh, what should I say? It's an activity, uh, more on a spiritual and more on a connectivity with the divine and the energy of the. uh that is around us there and it connects you to the source because you know how to tap in that energy every day what you can do so if it's a very strong aslesha working for me i know that i have to keep quiet and observe things yes so uh, when i am aware of the energy around me you know you see i send you my jpegs also right bhava ji which is there on my insta page and my uh, facebook page also so that is uh, you know you how you tap in the energy of the panchang which is so uh, which is so fluid so this is that is more work related that is more mundane this is more on based on energy um, tapping harnessing and activating a certain sort of energy in your life on a day to day basis Amazing it is. <laughs> Thank you so much, Baba Ji. It's it's a work of labor, and it's not just something of beauty, you know. Because people have been saying that you know it's very beautiful because of the colors and because of all the pictures around it. So people say that it's it is beautiful. Yes, I I very much agree, and I'm proud to say it's beautiful. But it's beauty with with a purpose. And. moreover i dare like to add one thing towards this end is that when you are working on it on a everyday basis it's basically if i ask you what's the sanskrit meaning meaning of the sanskrit word yantra people generally say that it's something made of copper which we put in our place of worship or something like that but a yantra in sanskrit actually means a device an instrument okay and a pen is also a yantra the pen is also a yantra okay and that i have come to know it from a sanskrit scholar he says a pen is also a yantra why because it helps you writing anything that helps you in your uh, making your work easy is a yantra so this is also a yantra of sorts wherein you harness the energy of a particular nakshatra into your life to bring about positivity to bring about welfare and goodness in your life yeah i also want to make something similar you know it's like uh one shloka every day from some of our scriptures that is my dream some day i will make that <laughs> but as of now uh, let's be content with the 27 nakshatras <laughs> yeah you can do it with, see the sky is the limit it's not just the nakshatras i'm very happy about you you know your bhagwat canton uh, means that you've that run uh, done all the all the 18 adhyayas that you've done in the bhagwat and the, so you can work on that level also it's uh it's the sky the our indian scriptures have given us so much that no lifetime it will take lifetimes for us to attain um and even then there is a big question mark whether we can <laughs> okay thank you very much then nice to see the calendar and i'm amazed and i'm and i think whoever will get this they will definitely uh, every morning they will know that you know which energy to tune themselves and their consciousness with uh, just from the right from the start and then they will know that which things they should do which things they should you know likely avoid or which are the opportunities like in dhanishtha as you said uh, things like uh, 
uh, if you want to get some name fame that then that's a good thing but it's uh, re recommended that you avoid marriages or something like so every nakshatra has some pros and cons so we can always get a hold of it okay yeah and so yes we we read it every day right so as you, you see just by looking at the pictures you could associate with it we read it yeah. every day we read it but sometimes it just does not go into our head but when you associate it with pictures that is why you know when in kindergarten they teach children with pictures and objects so that we can yeah. understand and it goes easily so when you read and it like this uh, in a year they will see this calendar you know every nakshatra 12 times yes yeah. Minimum of twelve times, yes. Yeah, twelve or thirteen, or depending on that. Of course, twenty-seven day uh, days and you know thirty days months. So <laughs> twelve to thirteen times. So they will people will get used to it. You know, in another three to four to five years. So anytime they hear Nakshatra, they will be like, yes, that's yes. the one we are talking about. Exactly, exactly. So that's the aim to you know the Nakshatra lovers out there. It's an aim wherein you can associate not just with the energies. But so many things of the nakshatras that is coming with it. And yes, I forgot to announce in the beginning that you also have uh, your own YouTube channel, and you have around four, five thousand subscribers now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and thanks a lot. Also, to, thanks a lot to you, Bhavali, for promoting me and uh, being there. And yeah, you also have your uh, website and. Anyway. You also do consultation so whoever is interested i will give the link of all the website and the channel down in the description okay so please go to her channel and subscribe and she has some amazing content on panchang and yes uh, i think we just decided a date on which we will do something on panchang so what were we supposed to do <laughs> uh, we will do it uh, either on karana or we will yes. do it on yoga most probably on yoga we will Okay, yoga. Yoga is one of the five. You know. Again, soon. Namaste. <laughs> thank you, Babaji, and thank you for having me on your channel. And see you again.